out here for our first summer sea star survey of the year. We're at Yahat State Park. We're gonna walk on down to this beautiful inner tidal zone of the Marine Reserve, Cape Fetch Marine Reserve, and we're gonna measure and count star species. We're looking for a variety of species, but the two main species we're focusing on are the sunflowers and the ochre stars. We're coming out with bendable rulers so we can measure um, each star that we see to kind of get a good idea as far as size variance out here. We count as many as we can find. So the purpose of this is we're one of the many groups up and down the entire West Coast who submit data every year to the Marine Network, which tracks, again, up and down the coast. Um, they're out of Santa Cruz down in California. So we submit all the data and it kind of gives a nice broad picture of how the populations of stars are doing along the entire West Coast. It hopefully tells us that sea star waste disease is starting to mellow out a bit. 2013, 14, all the way through about 2018 or 19, were the really heavy, bad sea star waste disease years. We'd come out here and all the stars would be melted, like dripping plastic wax. Whereas now, <laughs> you come down and they're living again and they're on the rocks and they're feeding, um, which is what we want to see more of. And there's juveniles, which is always really positive thing to see as well. We do it three times a year, so throughout the summer months, once in June, July, and August, because we have guaranteed good minus tides to where we can access the sea stars down here.